Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach. I have two tests that are failing. So that's actually pretty good that this change I did didn't seem to really wreck stuff too much. The only thing I've wrecked is just, you know, I have tests that are failing because the code changed. I'm also now not creating code for the rough structs. So that had to get fixed. There's just two spots where something still isn't right, like here. So this one, I have a result and the method of dormant or whatever is just not working correctly. So let's take a look at that. Is that the dormant? No, that's uh, <laughs> that's a delegate. Where would this be? Let's go into the mock builder again. Dormant's builder, build. So we create a class called dormants. Oh, that's right. The handler to type arguments. Dormants for handler. I'm just trying to figure out where did this, where did this go wrong? It's in the creation of the I dormants for, dormants for handler, so. It's this thing, right? So somewhere in this pipeline, because these get created every time something happens, and for whatever reason, I th now we gotta go look at, that's the one thing about this, with this pipeline thing, is trying to, trying to search through it all is trying to be a little bit hard to go, where did this actually happen? Well, let's come back here because I think this is what's getting expect method expectation builder, property expectations builder. Okay, so where is this being used? And the method builder, where is this being used? Okay, so we add a new dormants type, type arguments, constraints. It's the callback delegate name, I think, or we're <laughs> I'm getting lost. It's the return value. Okay, so, aha, found it. Found the enemy. If it returns void, you do empty. Otherwise, if it returns a rough like type, we do that. Really? This was a day ago. And I'm assuming, yeah, it's the same. Okay, so we need to not do this anymore. If it's a ref like type, we should be able to just say global system dot func of whatever the methods return type build name. Okay, I think that that's one that's failing. What's the other one? When the parameter is scoped. And what's the error there? Looks kind of similar. Hard to tell. So we are doing, we are creating a delegate, which is not correct. We should not have to do that. Well, no, that's not true. This is for a ref and it's a scoped. And we need to do this because you can't use a scoped with the Funker action. So that is actually okay. Yeah, it's this. I bet with that fix, let's just do the result one now and see if that changes anything. We'll, we'll keep the code as is right now and we'll see what the difference is between the two. Okay, so now it's failing because the source is different and it's because we're now saying a system func instead of this, yeah, okay. Let's do this, grab all the code. I'm also trying to do as many of these with keystrokes as possible <laughs> rather than clicking the mouse, going up here, doing that. And hopefully that makes this go slightly faster. Okay, now what do you do? Now you succeed. Okay, and then what about this one? That That's gonna fail because now the diff, there's a difference in the source, right? Yeah, and we can't see it because there's so much. So let's just go right to doing the dance. And, and I'm just going right to the mouse because Oh, we gotta do the test log. Okay. 
That's one thing I don't like about Visual Studio is if your window is meant to not dock, it will go back, but your mouse is over it, it doesn't go away. The The window will still stay up. And I, I guess it is what it is. But I wish if I gave the focus back to something else, then that window would close, even if my mouse is over it. Still failed. Oops. That's not good. What's this? Cannot use variable result in this context because it may expose referenced variables outside of their declaration scope. Uh... <laughs> Sure. I need some coffee for that one. <laughs> well, let's just go to dump this code somewhere and take a look at it. Sure, why not dump it here? And let's move that up. Uh, what are you doing? Go over here. And then let's grab all this. So we can see what the problem is. Oh, you're not referencing. Uh, um, okay, let's, instead of here, we got a playground. And guess what we can put here? A code dump file, because why not? Now you, oh, have they not run? Because that's a new thing and, okay, let's do that. I've added this in as a new thing, so it may not actually work here, if that makes sense. Yeah. It wouldn't work here at all. It might not work here. Okay. That'll be interesting. All right, let me shut down and start up again. Hold on. Okay, that's interesting because now we're getting the errors. We're getting a whole bunch of things that are not cool, <laughs> if that makes sense. Well, they're in integration tests. We're getting that same error somewhere else. I don't know why this is happening in rocks. That's bizarre. Simplify type names diagnostic analyzer. That's cute. Looks like that has nothing to do with... Okay, so, shoot. Um, well, let's do this. Let's move that into integration test for now. Did you do what I wanted you to do? I don't know. Just trying to get this code to get, what, what are you, okay, whatever. Yeah, it does. Why are you complaining? Okay, result. Cannot use result in this context because it may expose referenced variables outside of their declaration scope. What in the crap is this? Oh, what? This is not good. This is not good at all. This worked before. Yes, we had different callbacks and stuff. That was not an issue before. And now it is. Okay, I may need to do some research on this off camera because I don't know what just happened here. Cannot use result of func span, span, invoke span in this context because it may expose variables referenced by parameter arg. So, wait. They both allow a ref struct. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's great. Because <sighs> it may expose variables referenced by parameter outside of their declaration scope. Yeah, this. This sucks. This really, really sucks that this is not going to work. Because this basically, again, makes it so that all this work I did is just going to be for nothing. And I'm still going to have to generate code to handle... Because it, this has worked before. I don't know how to handle this. <sighs> There's always something, isn't there? No, I don't care about any of that. I can't, I can't, there, there's no, like, help. You just can't do this at all. Yeah, that's, see, that's okay. It's because it's scoped. Now, if I did this, no, it still doesn't like that. 
Oh, it's because of our result is equal to that. Now that's okay. Okay, so we, we tracked it down a little bit. Now a return value can't be scoped, right? Yeah, so you can't do that. That makes sense. So I think I have to make one fix. So there's one exception to this, and that if the argument is a ref-like type, it's, it's a ref struct, and it's scoped, then this callback has to be generated as a delegate. Yeah. Well, at least I know what the fix is. At least I know what the fix is. So, let's get rid of this. Okay, we still got those. And let's make a note here so I don't forget. So we did all this. We did this, but we need to do something like that says, if a parameter type is a ref struct and it's scoped, we need to generate, that's right, the handle, the, the return value doesn't matter because that's just saying it's a funk and that's okay. But when it's scoped here, we need to, we need to fall back to generating a delegate, a custom delegate type for that to work. Okay, so I think there's a solution here. I just need to now add some code in to handle that specific scenario, and that sucks because, well, I only need to do it when I'm, when I'm doing the projections. And when I say, for when I need to generate a delegate, I need to say in that case, yes, and that would generate the delegate. And then when I am creating the callback parameter, I would need to say in those specific cases, if it's ref struct and if it's scoped. I'm gonna do that in the next video because reasons. <laughs> I need to just get some more coffee and and get my bearings straight as it were. So, but but this is not bad because it, because at least I think there is a way to resolve this issue, which is a good thing. So we'll handle that in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.